Hey everyone, it's Christmas project time. I've made a flashing Christmas tree. I'll quickly run through the PCB design and manufacture with JLPCB, and then we can try assembling one of them. It's really not a complex circuit. We just need a jumper to connect power, and then we need nine pairs of resistors and LEDs. Converting this to a PCB, we just need to import my custom board shape. I designed this using a graphics tool to create an SVG shape and then converted that to a DXF file using an online tool. There's only really one thing to be careful about and that is making sure the LEDs are all in the same orientation. This will make assembly a lot easier. I've tried to arrange the resistors in a visually pleasing way so they will look nice and I think I'll probably assemble them on one side of the board and the LEDs on the other side so maybe it doesn't really matter. Uh, for layout, I could have done just copper pores for both power and ground, but I think it's a bit nicer in this case to have individual traces. With the layout done, we can send it off to JLPCB for manufacture. Uh, looking back, I should have got more boards as it's so cheap to get them manufactured. The shipping is relatively expensive. A couple of weeks later, we have a box from JLPCB. Looking inside, we find a cat. Not quite what I was expecting. Digging deeper, we find our Christmas project PCBs. Let's get assembling. I'm using these really neat, self-flashing, colour-changing RGB LEDs. You can these, use these just as you would a normal LED, which is really convenient. First thing I'll do is solder in the resistors. It doesn't really matter which way we put these, but it's nice to have them all pointing in the same direction. With the resistors all done, let's get the LEDs in. I'm going to do them on the other side of the board of the resistors. I think the solder joints give quite a nice effect. We just need to make sure all the LEDs are oriented in the same direction and then solder them in. It's a pretty good effect. I've turned down the exposure on the camera so you can actually see the colours. Uh, with it on normal exposure it's quite hard to capture the full effect. A couple of things to remember for next time. Really should label the power input and order more boards. I'll be sending these out to a few friends with kids. We'll see how they get on. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas.